How to add contact us form in Canva website. Hello and welcome to our channel. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to add a contact form in your Canva website. So make sure to watch till the end so you don't miss any important steps. If you need to create accounts on Canva, you can do so by using my affiliate links in the description below. I'll earn a small commission at no extra cost to you and you might also receive rewards or discounts by signing up through these links. So without further ado, let us begin. So first, let's just start off by creating our website. So to create a website, just simply go to a website right here on the Canva homepage. So just simply click on create new right here. And then from here, we can now start creating or designing our website. So first, let's just try to um, add like a simple landing page right here for our website. So as an example, I'll just add this welcome page right here so i'll just add this page right there to our website so let's just add it and then from here we can edit out the welcome page for our website so let's just make it say um welcome to my website there you go then let's just move it and then let's just remove this and then let's just add um this is my sample website and then there you go so this will be our welcome section for our website Next is let's add another section right here for our form. So just simply click on add section right here. And then from here, this will be the section for our contact form. So first, let's just start off by designing our section. So let's just simply add a text in the section right here. So let's just name it as contact form. So there you go. And then let's just add colons. And then let's just add this on the top left. And there you go. Let's just make it small a bit. Let's also try to change the font as well. So let's try to change the font into this font right here. So there you go. And there you go. So next is we're going to create our form in Google Forms. So just simply go to docs.google.com slash forms and then you'll be redirected here into Google Forms. Um, so in here you can either create your form from scratch so you can start by creating a blank form or you can use one of the pre-made templates right here that they have in Google Forms. So as an example, I'll just be using a template right here in Google Forms. So I'll just be using this contact information template right here. So I'll just click on this and then there you go. We now have our form. So let's just start editing, editing out our form right here. So I'll just add or rename this as contact us. So I'll just add the description right here for our contact us form. So if you have any questions about our website feel free to ask questions right here so there you go and then from here you can change the answers right here or the questions within your form so i'll just rename this into enter your name there you go i'll just add a colon right there and then there you go then you can choose what kind of answer that they want to um answer right here so they can answer in a short answer a paragraph multiple choice and etc and then from here you can also make this as required or not for me i'll just make it required since it's a name same goes with the email so i'll just rename it into enter your email there you go add colons again and then again you can add the kinds of answers that they can answer and then you can also change what kind of answers that they can send so they can send an email or etc so if it's not an email, this um, error will pop up. So please enter a valid email address and then you can also make it as required. Next is the address. Um, for this one, I will not make it required. So there you go. You can also change what kind of answer they can send in again. Same goes with the phone number. You can also um, edit the details for the phone number right here. And then let's just change this comment section into right here into a question. Or let's just rename it into your question there you go then you can let their question be in paragraph form then what you can also do is add additional um, responses right here if you want to so i'll just add another question right here then for example i'll also make them allow to upload files there you go then it says right here let responses upload files to drive click on continue and then there you go and then upload files here if needed and then there you go then you can also allow only specific file types right here for them to upload but for me i'll just turn it off 
and then you can also set the maximum file size if you want to so for me i'll just set it into 100 megabytes and there you go you can also make this required or not required okay and then once you're done um, making out your form you can also design it if you want to so if you want to design it simply go to customize theme right here and then you can change the font so for example i'll change mine into courier new there you go i'll just change everything into courier new let's also change the color to purple and then there you go so there you go we now have our contact us form so once you're done creating a contact us form you simply click on publish and there you go click on publish again and then there you go so once it's published let's just copy the link of this form so just copy the responder link right here so just simply click on copy responder link and then you're now done so let's just go back to canva right here so once we're in canva just go into apps right here and then once you're in apps just simply search up for form there you go search up for form and then once you're here just simply go to formester so just simply click on formester right here and then it says right here copy the form url created in formester and paste it into the field below so just paste in the google form link that you have made and then you can also change the form height right here in pixels so yep so once you're done just simply click on add to design and then just wait for it to add and then there you go it has now been added so once the form has been added what you can do is just simply resize the form to your liking so yep let's just resize the form there you go let's just make it as big as possible and there you go we now have our form there you go so when you double click on it you can interact with the form as well okay so once you're done making your form or uploading it right here in canva you're now pretty much done in making your contact form so once you're done making your contact form what you can do is just simply publish your website or you can do a preview of it so for me i'll just do a preview of it so i'll just click on preview and then here you go we now have a preview of our website right here and then from here we can now have access to the contact form right here so let's just try to fill out the form that we have made so name so I'll just name it as John Doe as an example. Then email will be John Doe at gmail.com. Address uh, as an example, I'll just put it at 123 Street, USA. There you go. Phone number 12345678900. And then for the comments or for your question, you simply add the question for the contact form how are you so this is just a sample so you can add any question right here within your contact form and then once you're done answering the contact form just simply click on submit and then there you go contact information thank you for submitting your contact info and then there you go so when we go back to google forms right here and go to responses so as you can see we'll get to see the responses right here that have been generated in our contact form and then there you go and then once you're done you're pretty much done so once you're done what you can do is just simply publish your website if you want to so you can publish the website as well but for me i won't publish it since this is just a tutorial so there you go and then once you're done you are now done so yeah that's pretty much it on how to add a contact us form in canva website so if you found this video helpful don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more tech tips that is all